Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to take you on a journey on how to grow broccoli. I'm going to take you on a complete journey of growing broccoli from seed to harvest. So let's get started. Broccoli is a cool season crop. You can grow broccoli either in spring or in fall. Broccoli is rich in vitamins and minerals and contains good source of vitamin A, potassium, folic acid, iron, and fiber. On a closer look, broccoli contains tiny buds. These tiny buds cluster together to make broccoli crowns. To grow broccoli, sow broccoli seeds in a seeding tray about half an inch deep. Since broccoli is a cool season crop, broccoli does not like temperature above 85 degrees Fahrenheit and will bolt in high heat. To grow broccoli in fall, start broccoli seeds at least three months before the first frost date. This can be anywhere from July 15 to September 15 depending on your zone. To grow broccoli in spring, start seeds indoors at least six weeks before the last frost date. This can be anywhere from January 15 to March 15 depending on your zone. After growing broccoli seedlings indoor for about four to five weeks, broccoli seedlings can be transplanted outside. Broccoli needs full sun, so always plant broccoli in full sun in cool climate. Broccoli also loves moist soil, so always plant broccoli in soil that contains organic matter such as lots of compost and worm castings. I also made a video on how you can make your own hot compost, so check that video out if you're interested. Broccoli also likes soil that is slightly acidic. Broccoli loves pH between 6 and 7. Do not over fertilize broccoli. Simple compost works really well. If you do need to add fertilizer to your broccoli garden, add low nitrogen, high potassium and high phosphorus fertilizer. Plant spacing for broccoli should be 12 inches apart and row spacing should be 24 inches apart. Broccoli thrives in temperature between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 15 to 21 degrees Celsius. After 7 to 8 weeks, broccoli plants will grow about to 18 inches tall and broccoli plants start to fill in. Keep the soil moist at all times. Make sure the soil is very well drained, so adding compost help in drainage as well. Broccoli is hardy down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit and can tolerate light frost. Make sure there's no standing water around your broccoli plants and you do not waterlog your broccoli plants. Broccoli roots are very shallow, so make sure you do not disturb the roots while weeding. When watering, make sure you do not spray any water on broccoli heads. This can encourage rot. Excessive rain can also damage broccoli heads as well. Common pests that attack broccoli are aphids, cabbage worms, and white flies. To protect against aphids and white flies, use a mixture of pure castor soap and neem oil and spray your broccoli plants at least once or twice a week. You can also create an alliance with ladybugs to help fight against aphids as well, as ladybugs munch on aphids. To fight against cabbage worms, use Bt spray or spinosad spray. I made a separate video on how to fight against aphids and also how to control cabbage worms as well. So check those videos out if you're interested. After 10 weeks, broccoli head starts to form. Broccoli heads can be harvested anytime. However, it is better to wait a little bit longer for broccoli heads to become bigger. It is very satisfying to grow your own broccoli in your own garden. After three months, broccoli heads are ready to harvest. You can harvest the main head of broccoli or the crown of broccoli and the broccoli plants will still keep producing side shoots that you can enjoy for months to come. However, if the temperature rises above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, broccoli will bolt and start going to seed. I always let one or two of my plants go to seed so that I can use these seeds to plant for next year. Not only these broccoli plants produce beautiful flowers, they also provide nectar for bees as well. Bees love vegetable flowers, that's why I always let quite a few of my vegetables go to seed. This is a win-win situation. I get to keep the seeds and also the bees get to enjoy nectar. Broccoli produces really pretty yellow flowers and for this reason you can also plant broccoli as an ornamental plant in your front yard as well. After a few weeks the broccoli flowers will start turning into pods and start making seeds. You can let these parts dry out on the plant and then save these parts containing seeds to plant next season. 
I've been harvesting broccoli throughout the growing season. I have picked the last of my broccoli at the end of this fall and winter vegetable garden. I also let some of my broccoli go to seeds so I can harvest seeds from this broccoli and plant those seeds in the next season. And I'll see you in another video.